To start, the viruses I will be talking about in this video are the ones that contain DNA inside of a capsid, which is a coat of protein and fat surrounding it for protection. I am not talking about the virus that can infect computers, but either way, they do not transmit from 5G towers. Viruses are one of the most abandoned and diverse life forms on Earth, and fortunately, they are highly specialized in infecting only one type of cell. For example, HIV, a deadly virus that targets the human immune system, is unable to infect mice since mice do not have human cells, and HIV is human specific. As mentioned before, those viruses contain DNA inside, which is an instruction manual on how they should operate, and most of the time, their only instruction is to reproduce. And they actually do a pretty good job at it. Through the process of lytic cycle, viruses are able to reproduce exponentially as they kill the cells they have infected in the process. The cycle starts with the virus sticking onto an uninfected cell, then the viral DNA gets inserted into the cell, hijacking the infected cell and forcing it to use all of its resources to reproduce the viral DNA and proteins. After all the genetic material has been replicated, the bacterial DNA is degraded, while the viral DNA and proteins start to reassemble. At the last step, the host cell is broken down and newly synthesized viruses are free to infect more cells and repeat the deadly cycle again. So now, why would wearing a mask help? Viruses such as the coronavirus transmit through droplets excreted from our mouth whenever we talk, sneeze, and etc. Masks work like a filter and are able to prevent those infectious droplets from reaching the wearer. They help even more for the people who are actually infected, as the mask will be able to prevent infectious droplets from being excreted out of an infected individual. This is known as source control. Masks literally serve as a physical barrier that blocks the virus from either entering our bodies or from exiting out an infected person, reducing spread significantly. Hand washing is also important as the soap is able to dissolve the capsid surrounding the viral DNA, killing the virus in the process. And the alcohol in hand sanitizers are also able to kill any bacteria or viruses that linger on our skins. Thanks for watching and stay safe guys!